Here is my Withboro Massacre anniversary question. What is your favorite scary movie? One generation's tragedy is the next one's a joke. This week marks the anniversary of the infamous Woodsboro murders. Two girls killed the exact day local celebrity victim, Sidney Prescott, chose to return to her hometown. You know, several days later, so I went from this heroic, Christ-like figure to the devil. With it. Hello? Hello. Uh, yes? What's your favorite scary movie? Well, I started out as a dancer, actually. I started when I was six. Um, and then got into the National Ballet School when I was nine and was, really was training as, to become a professional dancer. And I was a failing marine biology student and uh, had the wherewithal to know that's probably what I shouldn't be doing and started building sets for a theater company and and then it just hit me what I wanted to do, so I moved to New York and uh, studied with David Mamet and Bill Macy, who were teaching at the time. Two girls butchered. Stabbed to death. There's a killer out there patterning his murders after the original movie. Our local legacy, the stab movie, is coming to life. She called and said, I'm doing this movie, you know, and I talked to the producers about you, and they want you to come out and read some scenes with me and life. stuff. Even the opening scene. There's always some random girl who gets a call that undoubtedly ends up getting her kill. It's also predictable. There's no element of surprise. You can see everything coming. So I had a break from filming. I went out, and that was the craft. And um... modern audiences get savvy to the rules of the originals. There are still rules, but the rules have changed. Day LA, literally wrapped that and flew to to uh, San Francisco and drove up to Santa Rosa and started. You're a survivor, aren't you, Sydney? What's the question? Well, I have one question for you. What good to be a survivor if everyone close to you is dead? <laughs> Look, I, you know, I, I auditioned for Skeet's part. I didn't get that shit. And then, you know, the casting director's like, you should go for the ugly, weird best friend. And I did. Wait, what do you mean? Well, if you want to be the new, new version, the killer should be filming the murders. Yeah, it's like the natural next step in a psycho slasher innovation. I mean, you film them all real time, and then before you get caught, you upload them into cyberspace. Making and then I got that job. And now I just watched the, the screen, and I think that was a horrible decision. <laughs> <laughs> Making your art as immortal as you. Not, Not to implicate, implicate him. <laughs> we sh I mean, I was horrible. Hello, help me please. I'm at Stu Mocker's house on Turner Lane. It's 261. Turner Lane, please. He's going to try and kill me. <laughs> yeah, I've got lots of gums and big teeth and a really tiny fucking head. <laughs> I, I just quit acting on this moment right here. I just quit acting. We all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> no, Billy! Fuck! Ah! An amazing time. We had an amazing experience. And I remember, you know, a few of the nights when we were hanging out. Mmm. Corn syrup. Same stuff they use for pig's blood and carry looking at each other and going, do you think there's any possibility that this could actually be something? Help me, please. Surprise, Sydney. Do you, think, do you think maybe someone would wear a Halloween costume? Ooh. Oh, no, whoa. <laughs> What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. Why are you doing this? It's all part of the game, Sydney. 
It's called Guess How I'm Gonna Die! Fuck you! Like this, and I'm like, nah. Well, maybe, nah, nah. Well, we'll wait and see. But when it actually happened, when the opening weekend happened, and then that following weekend when it was, what, 30 million or something? Question is, if you get it wrong, oh, yeah! you die. <laughs> you get it right, you die. I mean, no, I mean, no idea. You know, like, Pretty term psychotic. We'll never get away with this. <laughs> Tell that to Cotton Weary. You wouldn't believe how easy he was to frame. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. He's <laughs> just such a gem. I mean, he really was an incredible human being and such a brilliant director and just knew how to talk to actors, knew how to move the camera, knew how to work with the Baby! Baby! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Oh, man, Jesus. Oh, shit. My turn. And get them excited and make everybody feel involved and make everybody feel like it's their project. Okay. I remember. Ah! Oh! Oh! I loved him to death. Is there any one experience? I mean... Billy, I guess I got a little too zealous, huh? Give me the knife. Oh. Give me the knife. Um, I had gotten to know him a lot more on that, and I mean, it, he had a great impact on so many people's lives. Everybody dies, but us, we get to carry on and plan the sequel, because let's face it, baby, these days, you gotta have a sequel. Ah! You could see it in that memorial, um, the depth of his influence across a broad spectrum of types of people. Movies make psychos for creative <laughs> And walks of life and... trajectory of a career it's gone up and down and ebbs and flows and good times and bad times and <clears throat> you know there's a moment in our lives in that movie towards the end of the film where he pulled me aside one day and he said you know we were just I walked up and he and Marianne were sitting there talking and who's our original huh? Can I help you? Sorry. The producer. And uh, he said, we were just talking that someday you're going to win an Academy Award. And I was like, shut up. And he's like, we we're literally just saying that. Jesus. What a rat-looking, homo-repressed mama's boy. Why not set your goals higher, huh? You want to be one of the big boys? Huh? Manson? Bundy? OJ? You should call my mom and dad and tell them that. <laughs> uh, and so he had the set phone brought over because we didn't have cell phones back then. And uh, he called my mom. And said, someday your son's going to win an Academy Award. And the only reason well, I said... There's Stabathon. Stabathon? Uh, it's a movie marathon. All seven stabs back to back. We do it every year. And it's tonight? There's a killer out there patterning his murders after the original movie. I know. It's pretty wild. Well, you have to call it off. Um, okay. I mean, it's Friday. I'm sure we're not the only party that's going on in Woodsboro. But where is this circle jerk going to take place? So who's ready for this Q&A? 
No, no, I really want the location. It's okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, let it burn! Let it burn! Look for anyone. And then um, Wes sat me down and said, David, she really likes you. Just get your act together. We're still dear friends. I mean, we have a child together. Dewey, what's going on? It is not public information. It's all over the internet. It is? She's like, uh, and all her friends are watching it now because it's like, she's 13. It's all horror movies. <laughs> Uh, I think that he does such a great job for a movie that's so crazy and out there. It's Jigsaw. Time for your last question. Name the remake of the groundbreaking... Oh, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw, Dawn of the Dead, The Hills Have Eyes, Amityville Horror, Black Christmas, House of Black None of the above. I'll be right back.